Hi, week three of the Life Book's over. We're at the halfway point and I'm happy to report I'm still enjoying it. Before we get started, I've been asked whether Mindvalley is sponsoring these series of videos and the answer is no. I'm producing these videos for a few reasons. One, there were very limited external reviews to do with the Life Book, so I want to contribute to, towards that for other people in the future. I'm also doing this for me. I'm interested in chronicling my experience throughout this so I can reflect on it in the future. But also very soon I'm interested in developing this YouTube channel into a space to explore growth and conscious joy. So in many ways, these series of videos is a trial process for me to understand the commitment to, to YouTube and media production. With that out of the way, how am I finding the life book now that we're halfway in? Well, the first week was still a shock. The way Lifebook delivers information is different to any education system I've experienced to date. But with that baseline established, I'm finding the experience consistent, you know what to expect. And the, the secret I'm finding is to have the finger ready to pause anytime interesting quotes pop up. What do I think about the Lifebook concept? I realize it's early days. The course is still ongoing, so. Where's my time to transform? However, all the work I've put in to date, all the conversations I've shared with my partner, all the thoughts that I'm having during the life book, uh, after the life book, they're all pointing the direction that I'd hoped. Uh, there's, this, there's this alignment and excitement about uh, where, where my future is taking me. And, and that, that that to me points out that the life book is legitimate. It's a real experience. I think it's best summarized by a quote John uh, showed recently, which was, you can't be around this amount of consciousness and not transform. What did I think about week three's topics on spirituality and love? Firstly, I'll pay my respects. These topics can produce very heated and animated conversations. Spirituality and love tend to be items that resonate very deeply and passionate with individuals and they can have interpretations and meaning that are extremely unique to every person. I thought John did an excellent job navigating through the material. He started off by identifying the extreme positions held by some members of the community and then moving towards a common ground. Bar one comment that may have related to 9-11, uh, my partner and I have found him to be neutral. It's also worth noting that the pace of delivery compared to other weeks had sped up. I'm not sure if it's because the content in the how to implement stage uh, was quite larger compared to other weeks, but in general, this pace of delivery led to a more engaging experience for me, something that uh, I found much easier to enjoy. Lastly, I found John's approach to date to be authentic. He shares what has worked for him, but doesn't push that this will work for you. Until now. In the love section, there were several times where I found him to be quite preachy. If your love life is mediocre, if you're unsatisfied, do this and your situation will be remedied. And this took me by surprise because even in the health and fitness section, which he's very passionate about, I didn't feel he had that preachy approach. I didn't disagree with the advice, but in general, I prefer his more open-minded ma uh, manner. So what about the Facebook tribe? Well, I'm over it. And the drop-in post count suggests that so is the community. I do find this Facebook tribe to be a great idea that perhaps has been let down by some teething issues as they figure out the direction they want to uh, take the experience towards. For example, uh, members of the June group have merged into the May group and are asking questions that we asked at the start. And when community engagement's already low, things like this just, uh, they, don't, they don't help the situation. However, I still have really high hopes that this Facebook tribe will bear fruit once we move away from uh, engaging in Lifebook content and actually following through. Uh, the, the, the fruit being that there, there's much strength within the community that uh, there'll be somebody that can offset your weaknesses, somebody that's got the piece of the puzzle that you're missing. With all that said, we're at the halfway point. I'm still really enjoying this life book experience and I'll see you again next week. Bye.